we have David Taylor and Sajalayev. Round one. Dude, I was so like I was so thrilled because we were gonna see this in the semis and then they, you know, redrew the brackets and what do you know? Saudi Live, David Taylor first round. How do you feel about this match? Well, at first, man, you know, when the brackets came out the first time, it was like, Oh, we're gonna see this in the semis. Cool. Then hours like an hour later, they were like, Yeah, the brackets have to be redrawn. And then hours later, I saw like, oh my goodness, it's David Taylor in such a live first round. Yeah, it's interesting because David Taylor has said for a few years now that he's wanted to wrestle Saudi Live just to test himself and and all that jazz. And now, to me, it's even more interesting because David Taylor has made it clear that this is going to be his last tournament. Yeah. And how crazy is it that his first world championships, he had Yazdani first round, and now his last one, he has Sajulayev? I know, and here, if we're predicting what's going to happen, my only worry for, like, David Taylor's one of the best American wrestlers of all time. Olympic champion, multiple-time world champion, NCAA champion. Like, my only worry is, you know, he's 34, I believe, 34, 35. So he is at the kind of, you know, I mean, end of his career. He said this is going to be his last world's. Maybe, maybe sometime he'll jump into a beat the streets or something just for fun. But it's just, I don't know how it's going to go, man. You know, we saw him wrestle against Aaron Brooks and you could tell like he, maybe he had slowed down a little bit. Maybe it was just that match. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how he performs against Saudi live Saudi live. You know, he, he's lost to Snyder. He lost to Taz, but he only has what three international losses. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of that matchup? Like, what do you see happening in the match? Well, I think a lot of, a lot of people's concerns with such is is the, the weight cut and how that will play a factor factor into this match coming, you know, off the, off the scale, David Taylor, you know, he, 86 guy going in 92, and he said that he uh, listened to his flow wrestling interview, and he says he walks around 210, 215, and then Sajulayev is a 97 kilo guy going down to 92, and he looked kind of sluggish at his wrestle off, so I think that maybe weight's going to play a factor into this match. Yeah, when you think about it, and you hear 86 and 92, that's not that big of a jump up in weight, but that's 189 pounds up to 202. So it is a, a significant jump up in weight. I do, like, their styles, it's going to be an interesting clash because we've only really seen Snyder versus Saudi Live, uh, if we're talking USA versus Russia. And... Snyder is known for being very strong, very physical. And I, if I were going to bet, I would say Snyder's probably stronger than Saudi Live, you know, but, but close. Whereas I don't, David Taylor's probably not going to be as strong physically as Saudi Live. So I wonder what the matchup's going to be because. It, it, you know, David is much more, he moves a lot more, in my opinion, than Kyle Snyder. So, yeah, what do you think, like, if you're going to predict score, what what kind of score do you think we're going to see? High scoring, low scoring? Well, in that interview with Flo, he did say that, like, off the matches he's watched of such a lot of, that um, Taylor said that he would really make sure that, and it's so cliche to say, because it's such a, thing that we say in wrestling he's like I'm gonna make him wrestle like I'm gonna wrestle through all the positions I'm not gonna stop so that was his biggest thing and I think that that is gonna be a huge thing because if cardio is a factor right then he's gonna need to push the pace yeah one of the biggest you know things about this match is that it's happening in the first round this is typically something we would want to see in the finals semis what do you think the mindset difference is is uh, for David Taylor that, you know, this is happening in the first round. Dude, let me ask you first. Mm -hmm. Do you care that it's first round compared to, like, let's say semis? <clears throat> that we know 100% this match is going to happen. Do you care? No, I guess in my head, my only thing is that you're like, man, I really want David Taylor to medal at, at this weight. And I guess 
there's a possibility that if David loses and maybe Saudi Live loses the next match or something, that, you know, I don't think that'll happen. I think Saudi Live will probably make it to the finals if if Taylor loses to him. Bro, they both, uh, the the guy from Iran is there, Gazinpour. He's on the same side as him. He's yeah. a two-time uh, world champion. He's beat uh, Jaden Cox twice. Yeah. They, he's on the same side. They so got they, they get, for sure. But anyway, with my prediction for the score, I think that Taylor is going to have to watch out for uh, the chess rap and going to have to watch out for uh, Sajja Live's gut too. So I think mm, I think Sajja Live might get the first takedown, get a turn, and then I think late in the first, Taylor will get a takedown. So it'll be 4-2 to two at the break. And then I think coming out, Sajalayev will get the take. Ah, I say Taylor really needs to push the pace here in the second. So, but I think Sajalayev gets the takedown, and then I think like midway through the second, Taylor gets a takedown. It's six to four with like maybe like a minute left, and he's pushing the pace. Nothing's happening. Maybe he gets like a push out or something. Six to five, and then I think it comes down to the last ten seconds. He gets a takedown. Yeah, you know, I just Taylor thought about this. Uh, Saudi Live is known for slowing down in the second period. So if he can really push that pace on him, I think that'll be big. I, I think David shouldn't force any takedowns, and David's known for attacking low a lot, ankle picks, low singles, stuff like that, um, cross ankle picks. And Saudi Live's amazing at defending that stuff. So maybe the first period, David just tries to move him, you know, tries to wear him down a bit. But we know David, you know, he loves to shoot. One thing that I think is cool about that is that David gets the match that he has verbally stated that he wants in the first round. You know, he gets to challenge himself. This is what he wanted. He wanted Saudi Live. He didn't want anyone else. So I think it's cool. Um, I love seeing David Taylor rep in the orange. Isn't it kind of crazy that, like, Taylor, for the longest time, was behind Burroughs and Dake, and now, like, for his career, like, when he moved up to 86, right, he had, he beat Yazdani, and he hasn't lost his Yazdani. He's beat him, like, four or five times in a row, right? And Yazdani, his nickname is Yazdani the Greatest. And Taylor now, he has two, if he beats such a life, he has two of amazing wins over Yazdani and Sajulayev. Like, how crazy is that for a guy who struggled for many years to not make a team? And then later on in his career, he if he beats Sajulayev, he has two amazing wins. Yeah, he would have the two best international wins, really, at 86 and 92. But, man, I mean, we saw it um, on an off-topic thing with uh, Joe Sonia, our guy, over at Spartan Combat, talking about Dake being behind Burroughs, you know, and when he beat finally beat Burroughs to make the 2020 spot for the Olympics, he, like, leaned down and was like, you made me better. And that's what I love about wrestling, man, is, like, no matter what, if you stay at it, like, your rivals push you to the next level. And we've seen that. We saw that both with Dake and Taylor. And I'm sure they pushed Burroughs to be even better, too. Yeah. So the, the I think that trio right there, man, really defines the 2010s to now, like this generation of wrestling. Yeah, think about how much Dake and Burroughs pushed Taylor to, you know, beat Yazdani and then maybe hopefully now beat Sajalayev. Like that's, I think he would credit those guys a lot for his success that he's had later in his career. Yeah, and, um, you know, just Snyder too, man. Like it's crazy because we say Burroughs, Dake, Taylor, and then you think of Snyder. I mean, what? How many world medals does he have already? At twenty eight, he has nine. Ten, and he, he's like, I'm gonna keep wrestling till I'm forty. So he, you know, he's kind of like, he he might be more like our generation's Dave Schultz or something. But man, it's been so great to see David Taylor wrestling. I mean, we've been watching him since we were in high school. Yeah. So and they just uh. Speaking of Dave Taylor, they just recently signed uh, Zahid Valencia to the Cowboy RTC. So, I mean, he's just doing it all, right? And then, and then you think about it, Zahid has been behind David Taylor. If David Taylor wasn't there, I mean, Zahid has had close matches with him and Brooks. So maybe now 
you know, Zahid will get to, I mean, we know he will pick David's brain. I'm sure they'll wrestle a lot together. But, oh, man, I'm glad wrestling's back. Dayton and Zahid both working with guys that have beat them in the past. Or not, they're both now their uh, coaches. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, it's nuts, man. But, all right, what are you predicting? Let's go ahead and put it in concrete. David Taylor or Saudi Live? I'm USA, man. I'm going to go David Taylor. I think it's going to be tough. I think it's definitely going to be to the last 10 seconds. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to say David Taylor too, but I, I this is just my opinion. I think if he loses – um, obviously it's Saudi Live, so you can't say it's just about the age. And what if scenario? I would love to see twenty twenty one David Taylor wrestle Saudi Live. You know, just just when he was a few years younger. You know, it just come off that Olympic gold. But I'm gonna go David Taylor too. USA. Okay. Did you see the photo that um Dan the cameraman posted of uh, David Taylor and Jordan Burroughs like uh, at the end of practice? Yes, that's yeah, cold, that's awesome. huh? It's kind of, kind of crazy that, you know, this is the last time they'll be on the same team, and it's just, uh, yeah, yeah helping was, each was, other out. Yeah, it was cool. Um, I guess they're practicing right next to each other, and can't remember if it was David or Burroughs that said it, but it, they said that they were looking over, and it just it was kind of cool um, working out right next to each other because they would just look over and be like, oh, see what he's doing, and kind of it motivate them. Yeah, and, and um, I guess predicting each bracket is a little um, maybe unnecessary, but what do you think? Do you think David, let's say he beats Saudi Live, or maybe he doesn't, let's say he loses, do you think that David Taylor will medal in this world regardless? Well, it's tough, right? Say he does lose to Saudi Live, and then Saudi Live loses to the Iranian, and then David is not, um, it's not a place in. Okay, now because Olympics has me messed up. There's not two bronze medals at Worlds, right? Uh, would I don't think so. I don't think so. With the, I'm not sure to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think I don't think so. I think there's a true third. I think there's yeah, just I one. Was. I think yeah. there's just one because, yeah, I think there's just one. Okay, perfect. Well, I, hey. I don't think I've been seeing double bronze at the U20s, U23s. I mean, okay, 